Yo, what's up? This is Metro Boomin. I'm in my studio right now in Los Angeles, and I'm gonna show you on my razor blade how I tune my 808s and lay my bass lines out. First, before I start, I want to talk about how important it is, you know, keeping your 808s in certain keys. Of course, you can have them in whatever key you want, but the 808 is basically, it's an instrument itself. So it's better for you to keep it in key with the rest of your beat. It flows better, it sounds better. It doesn't sound out of place and random, you know? It's smooth, it's music. Here's my 808. already in the same key as the melody, so they should flow together. So you basically get the picture with that. I use a lot of sounds and like a broad range of things in my beats, but um, a lot of the little like main go-tos, just quick stuff that I already know in my brain, where they are, are in Nexus. I've really used Nexus since I started making beats. I really don't tell anybody too much anything I do. I like to be real, like, real secretive and possessive about that. But um, this bass line that I used in this beat, I pretty much use it a lot in a lot of my beats. I won by Future and Kanye West. I won Skyfall by Travis Scott a lot of various songs. It's just, I just love the way it sounds. I love the tone of it. I'm gonna give you guys that one. That's out of Nexus over here in the Dance Volume 1 expansion pack. It's called Prid's Sidechain Bass. That's really like my go-to bass line like when I'm making a beat. Now my beats, you know, I usually love having points where like a bass line will break down. So, um, I have that here in this beat. You know, I like to switch back and forth between with them, play with it, you know. I'll play what I got for the bass line on this one. I actually have a synth following the same lead as the bass line. If you really listen, you can notice the 808, the tail of it has spilled over into the sub and like create like a wobbly like distortion and noise. I don't know if you can really hear it. Let me play it one more time. It doesn't really start on point. So to fix that, what I always do, and I've done it since the beginning of me making beats. Whatever the bass line's on, or the 808, vice versa, whatever. The cut, if you go over here on uh, to your plugin, click the miscellaneous tab, and whatever it's cut by, so this says cut five by five, I go over to the 808. This is on 16 by 16, so I just match that and put it five by five, and it'll cut exactly when the next thing plays. So. As soon as the bass line plays, the 808 will just completely shut down and it'll just be nice and clean and start. See, I just came straight in without any of the mess. That's basically how I lay my bass lines down and keep my 808s and pocket it in key with the rest of my track. 